No? Okay. I believe we have another public comment. Yeah, there's one more, uh, Denise, from Zach. Okay. Thank you. Hi, sorry about that. I was told previously I didn't need to fill out a comment or public comment card for each item on the agenda. Should I do that from moving forward? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, I want to thank Shireen for her wonderful presentation. Um, it's really clear from her presentation that she really does care about people with disabilities. And um, I learned a lot from it. There's so many things I want to comment on. I don't have time to. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask, though, is does the Community Living Fund fall under uh, aging and uh, adult services? Can anybody answer that question? No, it doesn't. Don't know. Oh. Because I, I had a comment on yes. that. Right. We just, excuse does me. The, yeah, we does the community living your, fund fall under? Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse me. I don't mean to interrupt. If you can just provide your, your comments and during breaks, you can ask any questions. Because right now we just want to hear your, your public comment. Well, my comment relates yes. very specifically to that. Right. And, and what she's talking about, which is okay. living in the community as a disabled person. And if their department okay. is m managing community uh, living fund, then that's very important. That's okay. what my comment's about. Yeah. Okay. Please continue. Okay. Uh, so I, I am somebody who uses the services. Um, I do believe the name is incredibly confusing. Uh, it, took me, it took a disability attorney to even inform me that they existed and that they could help me because of the name and, and just the confusion. Um, I've used uh, Community Living Fund, which was started, by the way, because uh, disabled people in Laguna Honda were being abused uh, sexually and physically by providers at Laguna Honda. There was a lawsuit that created the Community Living Fund to help people live in the community and not be segregated. Disabled people in San Francisco, like myself, are incredibly segregated. And the Community Living Fund failed to help me in so many ways. It's a, it really was a horrible experience, um, especially with uh, my social worker, Michael Boyer, and Paige um, Husted, uh, was his supervisor, um, who told me in no uncertain terms I could not change social workers. Um, even though it, the program is supposedly there to help me. In the time I was there, I was not able to get access to home-delivered food. Um, their phones did not work for months. Um, my social worker would not follow up on things for weeks at a time. And so it became so bad, they wouldn't help me get any sort of uh, batteries for my wheelchair or any sort of mobility equipment that I needed for my power wheelchair. Uh, they wouldn't help me. I, I was not able to get a ramp to access my home. Um, I was not able to get a provider for in-home uh, in support services. I was not able to get a phone for the accessibility needs. Um, this is really bad. This program is really flawed, and I would really like uh, some oversight for it. Um, fortunately, MOD stepped in for some of these issues and did help me get the food that I needed. Um, they did help me um, with transportation and other issues, and so I'm very grateful to MOD for that. But. Uh, Community Living Fund has a long way to go. It's a good program. I don't want it to see it go away, but I would like to see it improved, especially getting uh, people's power wheelchairs working so that we can live in the community. That's the point, so that we're not segregated. Thank you. Thank you.